Sundays. On Sundays. Well, today's yeah. not Sunday, so. Wait till Sunday. Great. Did anyone else do anything fun today? Did anyone go see a movie? Uh, I guess it's it's the week, eh? So everyone went to work, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. You worked all day yesterday. Yeah, you gotta work. Unfortunately. Hello, Renee. How are you? Hi, fine, thanks. And you? Very good. Great. I'm much better than that now that all you guys are here. <laughs> oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> How am I better? Yeah. Oh, because you're all smiling. That's why. <laughs> and I, I have a cat. Yes, and Jessica has the cutest picture, so yeah. it makes me smile even more, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I can't even take that. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah, you win today. If anyone else can top that, I don't know. I don't know if that's topable. Maybe you need like a puppy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me show you that. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's gracious. Oh no, that's not quite as cute. The kitty was cuter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very I good. This, so this baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh no, it's crying. <laughs> so sad. Oh, it's okay. good. Enough. Very good. Hi, Abel. How are you? Hi, fine. Good, good. All right, so today we're going to um, go over some vocabulary. We're going to generate some vocabulary. Hopefully, we'll go over some words um, that you guys can learn today. Sound good? Great. Yeah. Good. It's always good to learn some new words that we can put in our, our um, I like to call it our utility belt, like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So today's theme is going to be the kitchen. Does everyone understand, understand what, what kitchen, kitchen means? means? Yeah. yeah. Is the place yeah. where you cook? Where you cook? Exactly. exactly. Who is that echo? Hmm. All right, we good? Are we good? Well? No. No. Just got Anna. All right, that was it. Okay, sorry, Anna. It's some feedback there. Okay, so yes, exactly. I don't know who said it, but yes, the kitchen is where we cook. It's where we make the food. So it's one of my favorite rooms just because of that. You know, I like food. Me too. A anyone else with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm raising my all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Chris. Okay. Glad we're on the same page. Okay, so we're going to talk about furniture that we find in the kitchen. Can anybody name a piece of furniture that we keep in the kitchen? Um, furniture. In the kitchen. Table. Table. That's a good one. So we'll stick with that one for now. Table. Closet. Closet. Jessica mentioned something called food storage. So we can store food in a closet. Does anybody know what we call a closet in the kitchen? Sure. It has a specific word. If there is a closet in your kitchen, there is a word cabinet. we use for that. Cabinet. cabinet That's a yeah. good word. There's also another word. It starts with a P. Pantry. 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 A pantry is basically a closet in your kitchen. It's where you keep your food, your cereal, that kind of stuff. Got it? Yep. 
All right, now cabinets. What are those for? If a pantry. Walls. I'm sorry. If the cabinet is on on the walls, in, up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Usually cabinets are on the walls. But what do they store? If a pantry stores food, what does a cabinet store? Dishes. Dishes. Good job. Yes. Yeah, so pantry equals food. Cabinet equals dishes. So what kind of dishes could we put in a cabinet? Cups. Ooh, looky, yeah. <laughs> so yes, you could put cups. What else? Plates. Plates. Yep. Cups. Coffee cups. We also call those mugs. Mugs. That's sure yeah. trying. What else can we put in our cabinet? Glasses. Glasses. If anybody comes across a word that they don't understand, feel free to ask, okay? Don't let it go by. Okay. We're gonna help everybody. Okay, so so yeah, we have glasses, mugs, plates, coffee cups. Oh, we already said that, sorry. Um, dishes, so uh, plates. You can also put teacups. All that kind of stuff. That all goes in our cupboards. Now, Daniel said knife. Knife. Where would we put a knife? Would we put that in a cupboard? Sorry? I heard a word. Where would we keep a knife? Drawer. Drawer. Uh. A drawer. Drawer, yeah. Drawer. We kind of say it, uh, it it's spelled draw, <laughs> drawer, but we say it drawer. 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 Okay. It's kind of, it kind of sounds like drawer. Okay. <laughs> drawer. <laughs> drawer. We don't really pronounce the W. It's not drawer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's draw. Drawer. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, we say drawer. At least where I'm from. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes, what else could we keep in a drawer? We can keep our knives. Forks. Forks. Spoon. 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 Yeah. We call Spoon. that those utensils. 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 That's your forks, your knives, your spoons. Chopsticks, whatever you used to eat. <laughs> Those are utensils. Uh, can you guys repeat that? Utensils? Utensils. 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 Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Caesar? I'm sorry? Caesar? Could you uh, write that down? Yeah. Scissors. Yeah. Scissors. Scissors, yes, you could put that in a drawer. Have you ever seen um, sometimes on top of kitchen counters they have um, it looks like a uh, like a block that you keep your knives in. Yeah. And your scissors. Yeah, sometimes you put it in that. I don't know what that's called though. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just call it the knife holder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you guys ever uh, seen this? A cutting board? Yeah. Yeah. A cutting board. What's a cutting board used for? To cut meat uh, and vegetables. Vegetables, meat, yeah. Why, why do you need a cutting board? Why can't I just do it right on the table? It's dirty. <laughs> dirty, yeah, that's a good reason. What it's else? Large. 
for take care of your table. I heard the word scratch. Who said that? Uh, me. It's Very good. You scratch the table. Yeah, Renee. Yeah, exactly. So if you use a knife on a table, you put marks in it. Yeah. So we use a cutting board to protect. Very good. So we can put our cutting board in a drawer if we want. Okay. Okay. Has anyone seen this word used in the kitchen? An island. An island. Here in the states, they're very, uh, they're very popular. Yeah. Here in Brazil, that we don't have. You don't have islands in the kitchen. No, just, just the really, really rich people. <laughs> just rich people. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone? Uh, can anyone explain to me what an island is in a kitchen? It be on the center. <laughs> Islands are in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, but um, yes, exactly, Jessica. They're a uh, they're in the center of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Can anyone explain more? I don't know how to spell it. To you can put that stove. Sometimes there's a stove in the island. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean island in the kitchen? Okay, so you know how in a kitchen there's a counter? Oh. You know how there's a counter? They kind of, sometimes it goes in an L shape or it's straight. Yeah. Okay, an island is a separate piece. So there's that piece and then there's also another piece. Let me look up a picture. Hang on. I'll post it for you guys. Uh, here's a good one. There you go. That's an island. So it's it's a, it's an extra counter in the middle. Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> I like Daniel. Ooh, <laughs> very good. Yeah. So, what would an island be used for? For luxury. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does anybody know what you would use an island for? It's a really nice kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice kitchen. I kind of want it. My kitchen doesn't look Whoa. like that. If you notice on that island, there's a little sink. Yeah. Sometimes they have sinks in it. Sometimes the stove is in the island. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. So that just creates extra space. That's what an island's for. Extra space. Yeah, it's like a table. Sometimes they'll have a stool that you can sit there and eat breakfast, that kind of stuff. They're very common in America. And in Canada. If I have one of these kitchen, yeah, I will sleep <laughs> in kitchen every day. You live in there, <laughs> just set up yeah. a little tent in the corner. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you say you see wine and lettuce. Where? I only see lemons. <laughs> Oranges or lemons or something like that. All right, very good, guys. You guys are doing great. So, so we talked about um, pantries, cupboards. Very good. Stove. What, you... what? What does that mean? Stove. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone know what stove means? Does anybody know? It's like when, when yeah. where you, where did cook? you cook. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's the top of um, it's a cook shop. All right. Yes, where there's fire. Do you does what's the difference between a stove and an oven? Can anyone tell me what an oven is?
Where you put uh, the, the turkey. Where you put a turkey? <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly. An, an oven has a door. So you open it up. You open up, you put the turkey inside. Okay, okay. And you close it, right? Yes, oven has a door. A stove is on top of the oven. Yeah. You know, the four burners, and you, you put your food on top. Yeah. So stove is not the same as oven. Usually they work together. They're like, um, you know, they're best friends. They work together. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm getting hungry too. Maybe cook some dinner after this. <laughs> Very good. What are some other machines that we can use in the kitchen? You said the stove and the oven. A coffee machine. To wash your clothes. I heard two words there. Sorry. Coffee machine. Coffee machine. That's an important one, especially for me. <laughs> coffee machine. Toaster. Dishwasher, toaster, dishwasher. I love dishwashers. I don't have one. I miss it. <laughs> My parents have one, and I'm I miss. I don't like washing dishes by hand. <laughs> washing machine. Usually, washing machines um, aren't in the uh, kitchen. Just dishwashers. Mm. All right. Okay. So yes, coffee machine. What's another tool that we can use to cook with? Microwave. 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 The waffle machine. Yeah. What um what do, would we use a microwave for? Mm, warm. I I don't know. Popcorn? That's the best word. Popcorn. Yeah. What'd you say? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Not whiskers. <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah, so why would I um, use a microwave over an oven? Why would I use a microwave over an oven? Much faster. Faster. Microwaves are yeah. faster. Yeah. Why would I use an oven over a microwave? Microwave oven. Sorry? Microwave oven. Yes, a microwave oven. Microwave is a kind of oven. Why are uh, ovens usually... Um, why would I pick an oven over a microwave as opposed to using a microwave over an oven? Microwaves are faster, but what's bad about them? Yes, well, a um, an oven will toast your food. Can can a microwave toast your food? No. No. So suppose I have um, I don't know French fries. Yes, it just burns the water molecules. So yeah, so suppose I had french fries. If I put them in the microwave, will they be crispy? No. No, they'd be soggy. Yeah. <laughs> put it in an oven, they get nice and crispy. Okay. Welcome back, Renee. Yeah, I like cooking popcorn in the microwave. All right. Um, somebody else said a uh, waffle maker. What's another kind of um, machine that we can use to cook? 
And and don't say campfire. <laughs> oh, oh. Shit. Mm. We said toaster. What would you use a toaster for? Barbecue. Barbecue. That would be outside. You can't really have a barbecue in a kitchen. But yes, we can use that. <laughs> if we have electric a electric barbecue. Uh, yeah, yeah, like a like a George Foreman grill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. That's a good tool. What would we use? Um, what would we use a toaster for? To toast bread, yeah. What else could we make? Could you make pop tarts? Pop tarts. Ooh, I love me some pop tarts. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pop tarts? Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, the cinnamon ones. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Can you make spaghetti in the toaster? <laughs> no. No. Unfortunately. All right. What would we use, um, uh, like a barbecue grill, like a George Foreman grill? What would we use that for? Make some beef. Yeah, you could cook meat. Mm. Hamburger. Hamburger. That's a good Fish. one. Fish. Mm. Fish. You can you can cook just about anything. Vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah. The cat. The cat? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Why? Why? Not, not fluffy. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh, joke. <laughs> oh, look. Crying. It's cry. Oh, it's a joke. Yum 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 If you ate that, you get a f you'd you'd get a fur ball. You'd be like. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, in the kitchen we use the refrigerator. That's a good machine that we use a lot. Who's bubbling? Refrigerator. Why are those important? Why is a refrigerator important? Keeps the food eatable. <laughs> Yep, it keeps our food good. Yeah. Yeah, we and, usually and make make our beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beers, yeah. Make, make our beer. Where would we be cold. if our if our beer was warm? That would be very sad. Yeah. <laughs> In Germany, this these guys love uh, just... warm beer. Yeah, yeah. I have a German friend. He loves his beer warm, but it ha it's different beer though. You can't drink yeah. Ameri you can't drink American beer warm. Yeah. It's very bad because it's bad beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. American beer has to be cold. Yeah. Brazilian good beer has has to be has to be cold too. Yes, yeah, so we can put our our fruits and our vegetables in the refrigerator too. Yeah. That keeps keeps them fresh. Yeah. There's usually in every refrigerator. There's usually something called a crisper. A crisper. It's those drawers at the bottom. A drawer to put your um, fruits and vegetables in. It keeps them crisp. Okay. Like your apples, they go crunch when you eat them. <laughs> or your carrots go. <laughs> If they're not in the crisper, they're not as uh, crispy. <laughs> That's the name. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, is there any other um, machines in the kitchen that we're missing? Mm. Let's go back to coffee. Um, we said coffee pot. There's different kinds of coffee pots. There's drip. Can somebody describe for me what a drip coffee pot is? Um. Is 
exhauster. I'm sorry, Joao. What's that? Exhauster? Exhausted. Is that in reference to the coffee? No. Uh. Mm. It's just like uh, it, you know. Mm -hmm. Hang on one sec. I'm looking up a picture. Here is a drip coffee pot. Have you guys seen that before? Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Poor kitty. She's getting ready to be she's getting ready to be put in the George Foreman girl. Yes. Yeah, so drip coffee is like a coffee machine. It's the most common coffee pot here in America or or in Canada. <laughs> You're a bad person. That's hilarious. <laughs> Poor Fluffy. So yes, yeah, so a drip coffee pot works by you put um you have a uh, a basket and it drips water on top of it and the water drips through. What other coffee uh, coffee making devices are there? How about a percolator? Does anyone know what a percolator is? No. No one knows what a percolator is. What is this? Oh, exhaust. I see what you mean. Okay, right. Gotcha. Yes, that goes above our stove. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. We also now, call we call that a vent, too. Vent, okay. Or exhaust. So that takes all your smoke and puts it outside. Yeah. Does anyone know what a percolator is? Here's a picture of a percolator. It's a machine to make coffee. But you put the, basically you put the um, coffee and the thing inside it and it creates pressure and it pushes the water through it. So it doesn't drip. It's a different machine to make coffee. Yeah. There's also a French press. And a French press is when you put, you basically make it like tea. So you put uh, coffee grounds in, in the thing, and then you pour the hot water on top of it, and then you press it. Has anyone used that before? Nope. I, I'm sorry, I really like coffee, so that's why I'm talking about it so much. <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting oh. picture. What is that? What, what do we call that in English? Ex uh, I don't know. In English? Espresso machine. Espresso, Espresso yeah. machine. Ooh, I want one. I could put it on an <laughs> on my imaginary island <laughs> next to my dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Espresso machine. Very good, guys. You guys are doing awesome. Pepper grinder. That's another little machine we have. You guys are just generating so much vocabulary. This is great. Okay, so we were talking a lot about coffee. What are some other machines? Uh, what's another machine that we can use to make drinks? Like, so say you want to make a smoothie in the morning or a margarita at night. What Blender? machine do you use? Blender. 
So we'll put that next to my espresso machine. Okay. <laughs> Sound good? What's a blender do? Mix. Mixes. It mixes food. So it blends it. Blend is another word for mix. Okay. So if you, it also chops stuff up. So if you put ice in a blender, what will happen? Raspadinha. <laughs> sorry? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Yeah, it'll chop it up. It'll chop it up into tiny pieces, and then you can drink it. Yeah, we, we, we here in Brazil, we call that raspadinha. Oh, very good. <laughs> so, yeah, you can make smoothies, you can make uh, margaritas, or you can make whatever you want. Well, not whatever you want, but... I <laughs> can <laughs> You can add vodka. Yeah, you can add whatever you want. So it just mixes it together. Yum. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, wow. I can't even look at that little kitty now. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so what in the kitchen can we use to hold liquids? What can we hold liquids with in the kitchen? Hold liquids? Jar. Drawer? You mean cups? Cans. Cans, cups. Yeah. Jars? Jar, that's a good word. Jar. What's the difference between a can and a jar? Can versus jar. Size? Um, not really. You can have big jars or big cans. Size isn't really an issue here. It's more material. Good try, though. A can is like a bowl. Um, not really. Can versus jar. Vessel. Both are vessels. Glass or plastic. That's interesting, Renee. Okay, so glass or plastic. So you're talking about materials. What are cans usually made of? Are they made of glass or plastic? Metal. Good job, Jessica. Cans are usually made of tin or aluminum. I think aluminum. Uh, usually, you hear you you'll blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you will hear of tin cans. Here, yeah, I'll give you an image. One second. I'm working on it. I feel like an old man. I'm not as fast as I used to be. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a tin can. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Okay, so what do we use to open that? Oh. <laughs> Renee's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a can opener. Good job, Chris. That's awesome. Okay, so now what is a jar? Where you put juice? Juice? Where you put juice? Yes, you can put juice in a jar. What 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 is, if a if a can is made out of metal, what is a jar made out of? It's something Glass. we already stated. Glass. Glass. Yeah. So here's a jar.
Yes. Yeah, so usually uh, cans, you get cans in the store, your beans come, at least here. I don't know what it's like where you guys are. But here in uh, Canada, um, your beans or your your, uh, your green beans or your you can get spaghetti sauce in a can. But usually oh. jars have things like pickles and uh, stuff like that. Oh, you can, yes, you can recycle them. Use them for coins on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> You can use it uh, to store honey, peaches, salsa. Mmm, salsa. Mm. Oh, yeah. Pickles, sauce. Yeah, you can use cans for everything. Jam, yes. Usually jam comes in a can. Or in a jar, sorry. Soup, yeah. Usually soup comes in a can. Yeah. And do you need a special opener for a, for a jar? Nope. You might just use your hand. <laughs> or sometimes you need to use your husband. Yeah. <laughs> my my wife is always like uh, my wife is always like, honey, can you open this for me? Yeah. I'm like, oh. it's it's just to to make you you guys feel like. Ooh, I'm useful. Yeah, yeah it, makes us feel, it makes us feel big and strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Use your teeth. <laughs> really? Ow. You know what my mom always did? She would always, if she couldn't get a can open, she would whack it with a, with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Whack, 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 whack. My, my grandma do that. Yeah. Bro. I don't know if it actually helps. <laughs> Does it help? <laughs> oh, or with I, I heat, yeah. Yeah, some people put it under the faucet with heat, yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right, so cans and jars, those are something that we can hold liquids with. What else can we hold liquids with? Beer. <laughs> yeah, we can put um Liquids in beer bottles. That's what we can do. But uh, what else? What can we put beer and whiskey in? What What can we hold liquid with? We can put it in a jar and in a in a can and a cup. Cup. We can use cups. Glass. Yeah. There's another J word I'm looking for. Not jar, but something else. Yes, yeah, so we can put stuff in bottles. Oh, what, what do we call that? Mouth. <laughs> what do we call what Abel put up? <laughs> put stuff in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what do we call uh, what uh, that picture that um, Abel put up? That's an interesting picture. Vase. A vase. It's not quite a vase. It's actually called a pitcher. <laughs> a pitcher. Can you type? We call that a pitcher. pitcher. It's something you pour with. Okay. A pitcher. We put iced tea in it or lemonade. But yes, a vase is another thing. Oh, Brazilians call that a jar. Really? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. In the kitchen, you can find an extractor, yes. Jara. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, now here in uh, the States or in Canada, we call it a, uh, a pitcher. Ooh, that's an interesting machine. Daniel? What do we call that? Oh, an extra oh, that's what you call an extractor. Here we call that a juicer. A juicer. Juicer. It extracts the juice from whatever 
But don't put the kitty in there. <laughs> he is. Ew. Too late. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Girls. Oh. <laughs> That's really nasty. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about some things that we can put on the stove. Heartless people. I agree, Jessica. I agree. <laughs> All right. Um, what are some things that we can use on the stove? So say I want to cook soup. What can I cook it in? Pots. Uh, pots, yeah. What's the difference between a pot and a pan? A pan is where did you fry eggs? Mmm, very good. And bacon? Mmm. <laughs> Size, yes, Renee. Size, which is bigger, a pot or a pan, usually? Pot. Pot, pot yeah. Pots usually are like, you know, so they hold a lot more. A pan is shallow. It's boiling. So a pot is deep. A pan is shallow. Uh, uh, yes, w w which would we boil water in? A pan or a pot? pot. A pot. A pot, yeah. Which one, yeah. Would we f which one would we fry bacon in? A pan or a pot? Pan. A pot. Yes, we would do it in a, in a pan because it is shallow. It's, it's that right? Pot pressure? I'm sorry? Yeah. What do you mean? Mm, I'm going to think. Do you mean to put a lid yeah. on top of the on top of the pot? Uh, I'm going to send you a picture. Okay. Pressure cooker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's separate. Okay. Okay, and what's the name the other that looks like a dish where you cook eggs? Hmm. Can you send me a picture, Chris? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Okay, um, do pots have uh, do which has a lid, a pot or a pan? I'm sorry. Which has a lid, a pot or a pan? A pot. A pot, correct. Okay, here we got a picture here. Oh, that is called a pan. That is a pan, Renee. Yep. That's what we call a frying pan. You make delicious breakfast in. <laughs> yes, for bacon and eggs. Mmm. There's different kinds of pots. There's pots for all kinds of things. What can a pot be made of? Yeah, this is a good example of some pot pictures. Yeah, pasta pot. Yeah. Metal. I don't know if these work. Usually they're made of metal. Sometimes they're made of cast iron. Yeah, cast iron. Does anybody have a cast iron pan? You don't see those very often anymore. Yeah, usually they're made of stainless steel now. Yeah, sometimes pots are made out of glass or porcelain. I have a, uh, a pot that is cast iron coated in, in glass. Yeah, so there's there's many, 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 many different kinds of pots and pans. There are some, like a roaster, that you can put in the oven for your turkey.
Right. What is a kettle? Yes, a broiler, Jessica. That's exactly. You can put that in the in the oven too. What is a kettle? I have no idea. No idea. Does anyone have an idea of what a kettle is? What if I put this word in front of it? A tea kettle. A tea kettle. Yes, Joel. Oh, water. Okay. Yep. Cool. So you put you put the water in it. You stick it on the stove. Turn it on, and then after five minutes, you're. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's time to coffee. Yep. So that is called a a um, what did I say? Kettle. Yeah. Kettle. I, couldn't, I couldn't remember the word. <laughs> Very good, guys. Can you guys think of anything else that you can put on top of a stove to cook food? Mm. I think that pretty much sums that up. All right. How about um? Have you guys heard of a? These are all over the states. I don't know if they're where you are. A crock pot. Also called a slow cooker. Yeah, I'm gonna send you an image. Okay. One sec. These these are everywhere here. One second. There's a crock pot. Oh yeah. Has anyone seen that? Yeah. Yep. What are what are those used for? It's like uh, cook with steam. Cook with steam? Not quite. They don't use steam. Electric. That's a good guess, though. Right? So you can make all kinds of things in them. It's electric, yes. So you plug it into the wall. And it's also called a slow cooker because it cooks very <coughs> slowly. Okay. So what you do is you can make pretty much anything like... Um, you can put a chicken in it, you could um, make a soup, but you just put it in at the beginning of the day. Like say I wanted to make chili. Um, I would put all my beans and my meat and everything in it in the morning and I go to work. And the crock pot cooks it all day. And then I get home and I have dinner ready. The taste is good. Oh yes, very good. Yes, because it cooks it slowly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, wow. it could, yeah. It's, it's like a rice pot. Yeah, but you can use it for anything. Do you have those where they where you are, guys? I don't have one in my house, but I'm already Beans. seen Beans. in the mall. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So they're also they're called slow cookers or crock pots. Americans love them. <laughs> they're very good. Somebody said uh, rice pot, rice cooker. Rice. rice cooker. That's kind of the same idea. Because rice is very, uh, I don't know, at least for me, difficult to make. I always, uh, it's always either too hard or too soft. Oh. <laughs> it's the easier, easier thing to cook. Yeah, so rice cookers help us uh, do it on time. <laughs> Two cups of rice, four cups of water, yeah. You have to understand, though, Jessica, I'm a very bad cook, so I would even screw that up. <laughs> We kind of talked about this a little bit before, but we're going to talk about this some more. Um, utensils. We already said knives. What are some other utensils that we have in the... Uh, Forks, spoons. Forks, spoons, yeah. Scissors. Now those are to eat with. What are some utensils we can use to cook with? Wood spoon. 
Wooden spoons. I use those a lot. Wooden spoons. Yeah. What do we use that for? Do we use those to eat? To cook. To cook. Yeah. So how do we use them? Yes. Oops. Use them. Maybe we could use them to stir. Yeah, mix. Yeah. Mix the food. Mix. <laughs> mix, yeah. And uh, we we stir. use wooden spoons uh, so that way we don't scroll through our pants. <laughs> so you don't what? You don't say wooden spoon with to move the uh, I'm looking for the right word. Were you saying something, Daniel? Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so we usually use wooden spoons for stirring that kind of stuff. They also make them out of plastic. And yes, they make them out of metal too. Yes, very good, Jessica. Okay, has anyone seen this word? Yeah, Joel. Plastic and Teflon are bad for you. <laughs> spatula. Yeah. Does anyone know what a spatula is? Yeah. What's a spatula for? You can grab an egg, like it's an okay. example. Example. That's too bad, so yeah. I'm going to post the picture. <laughs> I can't get a picture. Yeah, to prepare a cake, turn the eggs. It's a good thing for uh, lifting stuff. Exactly. So it's different from a spoon. It's flat. Flat. Very flat, yeah. So we can flip stuff over. You can make pancakes. All that good stuff. All right, so we can use knives, too. To kill flies. Whack! <laughs> Very, <laughs> Very good. Yeah. What different kind of knives are there? Chopper. No. Chopping knives. There's butcher knives. Butcher knife. A saw knife, yeah. A knife that looks like a saw. You know what we call those saw knives? I don't know how to spell it, but we call those serrated. Serrated. Okay. I forget how to spell it, but this is how it sounds. Serrated. Serrated. I don't know if that's right, but they have the uh, the jaggedies on them. So we use those to cut meat. Yeah. Little teeth, exactly. There's also paring knives. Paring knives. We use those for peeling fruit. They're little, cute little knives. They don't know what, uh, yeah, no teeth or no teeth. For bread, yeah, you can also use a serrated knife for bread. A bread knife. Those are usually bigger. Does anyone know what a butter knife is? Yeah. Yep. Do those are those serrated? No. 
Nope. Nope. They're just blunt. Just use them for butter. <laughs> or jelly. Sorry? Or jelly. Or jelly, yeah. Or peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> with, with jelly? Cream cheese. <laughs> mm, peanut butter and jelly. Cream cheese. Oh, God. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. So Sometimes, if you can't find a screwdriver, you use a butter knife. <laughs> yeah, all that jazz. Very good. <laughs> There's also a lot of other little utensils that I like to call gadgets. Gadgets. Like, for example, we already said a can opener. Are there any other little gadgets that we use in the kitchen that are a little? How about this? A measuring spoon. Yeah. No. So there's one cup, two cups, one tablespoon, two tablespoons. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, how, do you, how do you call garlic uh, press garlic? A garlic press, yeah. Yeah, okay. Garlic press, that helps us. There's also, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Thermometer. Thermometer. You know, to measure the how hot your turkey is. Oh, that's called a corkscrew. You can say again? Corkscrew, wine opener. Therm Table. I'm sorry, Jessica, what's up? You can spell again, thermometer. Ther I'm spelling thermometer. I'm spelling that wrong. Uh, <laughs> hang on, one sec. Oh, I am spelling it right. Thermometer. Thermometer. I think that's right. Thermometer. Yeah. Thermometer. That Thermometer. that that measures the temperature. Yeah. Yeah. Or the water. All right, good job, guys. You guys did awesome. Do you guys have any questions? Nope. No questions? Anyone conf more confused now that I've tried to teach you something? <laughs> no. No, you're just hungry now? As yeah. Long as, well, as long as you don't eat the kitty, it's good. <laughs> hey, guys, here's, uh, here's my Facebook page.